what's going on guys welcome back to another james away youtube video now as you can see up here like right up above me tay sports youtube channel go check him out uh uploads cool videos and um has this awesome victor Wembanyama rookie season highlights uh and i thought hey why not have a look at Wemby's highlights for the season um there's tons of videos out there i just thought this one was cool so, yeah, let's check it out um, together because, yeah, Victor Weminyama might, might be on the bandwagon over here. I'm not, I don't know, Benny, I might be coming over. Who knows? But uh, anyway, let's, uh, let's check it out. Let's get to these highlights. We'll pause it as we go and, um, and just have a look at, have a chat, I mean, sorry, about what Victor Weminyama is and who he is and what I feel for Victor Weminyama. So that sounded weird. Anyway. Wembenyama. Oh, goes puts it down. <laughs> like that one, just for like, I remember seeing that when it happened, like uh, seeing like the clips of it when it happened on TikTok and YouTube and stuff like that. And um, I remember thinking like, damn, he went behind his back. And it's like, oh damn, he got fouled. And it's like, oh damn, he just dunked that. Like. Victor Wemiam just does things you don't expect. Like, you just don't expect them. Weaving his way to the hoop. And there is Victor <laughs> Like, he could have blocked that and it could have bounced back up into the ring. Like, this dude is a... Ben Yama! Oh, mama! <laughs> the screen, the drive. Oh, it's knocked away by Wemben Yama! Knocked away by Wemben Yama! Like, I'm not... That was an awesome block, don't get me wrong. And I think... I think in general, I love defense. I think it's an, it was awesome, um, but like it wasn't the greatest like play ever. But it come at such a time where that was so needed. Like they needed that block to win that game, and I'm pretty sure they won that. But not 100 percent sure. But I'm pretty sure they did. Power forward to center. Look at this. What the heck? Like I mean, I apologize for pausing it so much, but oh my god, like. Let's just go back and watch where he jumps from. Okay, he's taking his first step. The left foot is just in the paint. Look at this! Oh no, sorry. So he's pretty much loading up to jump there, which, in general, is like you know really good place to dunk from but you'd expect to catch land and dunk from anyone else especially not on a full sprint especially not on a full sprint look at this look at this finish here by victor started by shengu the fade away yeah. and that's where i expected around right. comes back out to victor six on the shot clock he motors in the lane scoop shot oh, oh, oh my goodness <laughs> The screen from Osman. Oh, with a nice little dribble right there. Shake, Shake it. Big! Yeah. Got it to truck. Yeah. Wow! Yeah, that was a nice little hand, <laughs> right? Oh, my goodness. <laughs> to find the two. And look at them guard one another. Trying to poke it away. Uh oh! Oh! That's a rookie. Right That's back, rookie. right? Over to uh, double. That's an interception deflection. So he. Rimbenyama! Like he is much must watch television. Like I can't believe it. I watched a few games of his this year, but I didn't watch it enough. Like I was just happy watching the the highlights and stuff like that. But like he's must watch television. Like I swear, if the Spurs don't do something to get good players around him, like obviously he doesn't have to be. They can grow. They can grow. The Spurs can grow, but they need something to get you know a few more pieces, a few extra pieces that'll fit in with his game and thankfully Spurs are great at doing that so yeah fucking insane the Spurs and Vassell ahead to Victor into the paint goes up and scores with an and one into the game and words are just trying to attack all these switches Juan you were really good at switches just talk about the importance of being that versatile as well but all kinds of Pops a three. Oh, yeah, play too early. Has all kinds of space behind him. Wemiyama, it's another jumper. Oh goodness! Yeah, he's working off screens and shooting the ball like he's a guard out there. He's gonna pass the ball out to the corner. There you go. Wemiyama, stop! 
Have I been talking about it? Rockets with 22 points. How about the good stuff, though? Yeah, all he has to do is look back. Allen, three for four tonight. Didn't hit a shot the other night. Coming inside, Ren Benyama stuffs it. The fans appreciate the effort here. Guarding multiple players down low. Free agent acquisition. That's why. Actually, we're going to talk to Mike Dunleavy in the second quarter about the Warrior offseason building. Like, I can't, I can't say, like, if, if Wembenyama doesn't win Defensive Player of the Year this year, I think it'll be, it'll be, a, a th- I think it'll be thievery. Like, the wor- one of the worst, I don't know if it's the worst, but one that comes to mind for me is LeBron in 2013, I think, where they gave it to Marcus Gasol, and Marcus Gasol didn't even make the All-Defensive first team. Uh, this will be worse in my mind. I feel like Wemby, I know he's a rookie, and I know all that, but I feel like Wemby should, should be Defensive Player of the Year. Hands down, Rookie of the Year. Like, it's not even a contest. Um, and Which is crazy, considering how good uh, Chet Holm- Holmgren is. I'm sorry, Chet Holmgren is. Like, he's a generational talent, probably not to the level of Wemby and that, but like he's like a player that can be amazing as he gets older, and Wemby just dwarfs him. Um, like, it's just insane. Like, I think it'll be a travesty if he doesn't win Defensive Player of the Year. And I don't think he will. I don't think he will. I think because of the Spurs record, stuff like that. But hands down, Spurs, like, not Spurs, sorry. Hands down, Wemby should be Defensive Player of the Year, in my opinion. And um, and definitely Rookie of the Year. Now, I think that the NBA is in a brilliant position moving forward. Where you have players like Anthony Edwards, Victor Wembanyama, <clears throat> um, who else? I'm trying to think who else is sort of coming up. Um, nobody's sort of coming to mind, but like Chet, even Shea Gilgis Alexander. Um, I think that we're in a really, really good position to move to that next generation. You know, as LeBron and KD and and all those guys start to get too old and retire, like you know, which they are. Um, but yeah, just insane. I'm going to watch a couple more and then we're going to call it, um, for the video, but yeah, just insane. Wembenyama's got three blocks already. Andrew Wiggins threw everything he could at Wembenyama. Couldn't shake him. And then he left. That was the other thing too. I'm pretty sure when Wemby's on the court, the Spurs are the best or close to the best defensive defense in the league. When he's off the court, I think they dropped down to like 23rd. If that's not defensive player of the year, then I don't know. This is the three. He's with Drew Smith. Oh, oh. the way playing tennis, he's got four block shots. With the cell, rocketing down the lane, handing to Ron Benyama. Jack hammers it in. Oh, he's showing us everything. Gives it up to Vassell. There he is again. Hey, oh, oh mama, Ron Benyama. That's a perfect example. Sorry, I keep looking over here, but the camera's there. That's a perfect example of the Spurs needing a proper point guard. Needing someone that's going to be looking for Wemby, that's going to recognize plays. He was open for ages there, and then the pass was going to uh, Jeremy Sohan, or Sochan, or whatever you say, whatever his name is. It was going to him. Wemby had to take it. Like Once Wemby starts to get a bit of a voice and starts to go, okay, this is my league, or this is at least my team, I think he already does, but once he starts to get real sort of dominant with it it's like yeah that's it's going to be it um anyway that's going to be it for the video today guys um i know that i've had a few videos last couple days which has been great uh but yeah victor Wembanyama looks insane uh the next video for me is probably going to be an anthony edwards uh, highlight video for the season because i feel like i'm going to be reacting to that um i feel like like i was saying the nba is in such a awesome position going forward i want to kind of highlight those young guys that are coming through and uh you know see which team i'm gonna like you know gravitate to at the moment sort of feeling like it's going to be spurs uh wemby ticks all the boxes for what i like from a player obviously like i said lebron uh my favorite player at the moment uh and he probably will be my number one or two but yeah anyway thank you guys and uh i'll catch us on the next one peace